Morning, everybody. It's DJ MV Angela Yee, Charlemagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. It's Slander The Breakfast Club. If you want to slander The Breakfast Club, call us up right now. Hello, who's this? It's Jay Cox. Hey, Jay Cox. Cotton, man. Come on, dog. Don't oh, even just, do that, I'm just asking, man. I thought you said Cox. Don't get <laughs> upset. Cotton, cotton like the fabric of our lives. This is my second time calling y'all, man. The first time was when y'all was talking about you know, helping people after they get jumped. And I, I told y'all I ain't helped the dude. He got jumped. I stood at the bus stop and let him get jumped. But that was a whole other story. All right, now Jay I'm Cox. I'm calling to slander you, Evie. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Cotton like, cotton, like the fabric of our lives. Say it, Evie. Cox. Cotton. Cotton, cotton, cotton like what our ancestors used to pick. <laughs> <laughs> well, not Envy's ancestors, y'all. but you, I'm, I'm black. Respectful to the dark skin cat, man. I'm very dark, and that's the that's the problem. Number one, I'm dark. I'm, I, listen, I'm black as hell. You get what I'm saying? Like I'm the darkest cat wherever I go. And if you, I don't really see you, you know, being nice to dark skin cats. So I'm, that's that's my problem. What's oh up? wow! Hey, what, I didn't know you was dark skin through the phone. Skin. I didn't know, but you, but Charlamagne can talk about beige bitch and beige rage all day long, but <laughs> I can't say nothing. Listen, the uh, the, uh, the the oppressed can we, always we, talk we, about we, the oppressed. Yeah, man, we gotta let that go, man. We it's not me. Man. It's we, the you're supposed to be my brother. I am your brother. Well, why aren't you we're nice to him? It's the rec. It's and the rec. Cool. Detroit. I need y'all to come to Detroit and get on the ball. Cause y'all bad of all the house. You said you want me to get on, come to Detroit get. and get on your balls. Well, that's what he what said. That's say? what Cox said. What are you, what Would y'all stop? Up? What's that's up with you? It's you. What's up with you, man? I don't know. Listen, you flirting. Why y'all trying to make this a gay conversation? Listen, who said anything about gay? Who? Talking about jumping on somebody's balls. No, you said that. You All right. said that. Thank you, Jay. Talking about Cox and then tell us to jump on your balls <laughs> and then t- t- say we the ones making this gay. You kinky out in Detroit, this bro. This is crazy. All right, we got Maxwell on the line. Maxwell, who do you want to slander? <laughs> he kinky in the deep. I want to slander the homie Charlemagne the God. I'm here for you, sir. <laughs> that No. Come on, man. See, that's one of the reasons why I want to slander you. He just said he's here for you. for you. And it's ridiculous, man. You're talking about the the size of this man. Come on, bro. It is Please. ridiculous. I can't take it. I all, can't take it. Bro. All I said I was Rich Dollars need to act his age and not Safari's penis size. Look, he just said he Why can't he can't take it. Why are you talking about this man swank? Out of all the shit in the, in the English dictionary you talking about, you talking about this man swank? Come on, man. Yeah, we, why? We not sure what Safari's shoe size is, but we've seen his penis, right? We, we oh have. We? You. you. Don't say we. Don't bring me into your shit. You, you <laughs> ain't, you, hold on. You I ain't seen see Safari's shit. nudes. Come on, man. Come Did on. Just be it? honest. Be honest answer. with me. Between us. You ain't. Bullshit about 6'9". I have been so disappointed in you. So I, disappointed. All, All right. right, thank you, Thanks. Maxwell. Sorry. I'm sorry, my brother. I'm going to try to do better. All Hello. Right. <laughs> Hello, who's this? This is Eric. Eric, oh, boy. Sl- Slander the Breakfast Club, bro. Hey, man, hey, man. First of all, shout out to North Carolina, and I love everybody at the Breakfast Club. Okay. Charlamagne, you my guy, man, but I don't understand why you always on this gay stuff, man. Like, <laughs> every day you want some gay stuff. You know, what you is gay? Look, look, you guys had this episode where you were talking about what would you do if you had to give head to stay alive or something? And even days afterwards, my you know my dude, you were talking about you still give head to do this. And That's do that. not you know, no no. I, out, I, I said I would fake like I was about to give somebody <laughs> fellatio, <laughs> and I would bite it off. <laughs> That's, That's what I said. That's hey, worse. Man, I love y'all, man. Have a good one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Eight hundred five eight five one zero five one. If you want to slander the Breakfast Club, call us now. It feels like there's a theme here. Yeah, yeah. I'm feeling that theme. Pause. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Hey. I know you are, Envy. <laughs> Hello? 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 Hey, who you want to slander? Oh, my gosh, everybody. A little bit of everybody. Okay. A little bit of everybody in my life. Hey, go ahead. DJ Envy, you came here to Indianapolis, sweetheart. Here we go. Let's go. Enough of that. You do that on the radio. Mm. Charlemagne the guy. Well, you know what? Back to you, DJ Envy. Why are you always <laughs> asking Charlemagne who he giving his booty to? That is true. That he said donkey. Too. Same difference. He, he, I said donkey. I know that. I know that. But he's always talking about being these gay slurs with, when it comes to everybody. Oh Every man, it's always a gay pun. You always talk about, oh, my God. But just last week when me and my husband got on the phone, he's talking about, who is that coming from the back? And then Charlamagne said, you just go come from the back like that. And then hang up. <laughs> this is like a nerve or something. What's going on? Are we that gay on this show? I don't know. <laughs> Am I missing something? 
<laughs> Charlemagne, Charlemagne, I bet you won't have nobody to come on and face you when they talk about being gay because you're not going to be able to look another man in the eye, especially when you let Takashi sit there the whole entire time with his hand on your leg and didn't say nothing. That's true. Takashi did not sit here with his hand <laughs> on my leg the whole entire he time. He did, yeah. Okay, no, he did not. You missed it. The, the only time, the only time you acknowledge his hand being on your leg is when he said something about it. That is true. That is true. No, what I said to him, what I said to him was DJ Academics going to get jealous. That's what I said to him. And you know what? Here go my husband from the back again. No, I wasn't from the back. I was from the side. So, Charlemagne, you three feet tall with a six foot four head. I did what? You three feet tall with a six feet four head. <laughs> and me, I wasn't gonna say nothing, you know, because of my girl. She all about them girls, but I googled your twat and it looked like a busted orange. <laughs> you Google what? what? Why is Goodbye. your twat online? You, your twat's online. It's, you can't say twat. It's yes, definitely you can say not. Twat. twat ain't one of the seven words. <laughs> but oranges are delicious, so there you yeah, go. And good for you. Hello, who's this? Yo. Hey, you want to slam to the Breakfast Club? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go hey, ahead. First off, I gotta get on Charlemagne. Charlemagne, all I got to say is, man, that Uncommon Sense, the last season was trash. You know, I can see why MTV got rid of it. You know, the show ain't been a hit since you let Jesus and Mero go and let them flourish on doing what they was doing. Number two, I got to get on you, Envy, for hating on the Bodega Boys and not letting them come back up to the Breakfast Club. And I understand, man, I get it, you know what I'm saying, what they said about your wife or whatever. But they did man up and apologize. But nobody told you to go on the show full of women looking like a Dominican James Bond. <laughs> on the real? <laughs> Dominican James Bond. How do I say 007 in Dominican? I'm not Dominican. Um, I'm black. <laughs> How do I say 007 in Dominican? <laughs> And then, oh, what is it? Um, and then, and then I got to get on you. And then I got to get on you. Yeah, I think you're a gorgeous woman. But, I mean, man, y'all got to get rid of this ass ye, man. Because ye on here giving advice to women who are either married and kids. And you ain't married and you ain't got no kids. And that's equivalent to Donald Trump being president. Because he ain't got no experience in politics. That's okay. All I gotta say. All right. Hey, I just want you I'm to know. I'm glad my that, advice um, works, though. <laughs> uh, Uncommon Sense, by the way, was the last original programming MTV2 did, period. Dan, so wanna... you killed off all of the original all programs. Of them. <laughs> because, of me, because of me, they didn't do no original programming no more. <laughs> and, and you know what? And shout to Deezus and Mero. They sent me a gift last week, man. Drop, oh, what they send you? Drop on a clue box tell us my that. guy, Deezus and Mero. They sent me a gift last week, man. What they send you? Appreciate you guys, man. Were you on the toilet? They sent me a banana. What? No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. They sent me a nice gift last week, so shout to Deezus and Mary. What'd they send you? I'm not telling you. Whoa. All right. Slander the Breakfast okay. Club. 800-585-1051. If you want to slander the Breakfast Club, you can. Why can't we know about the gift? It's none of your business. It's private. You just brought it up. I'm just saying thank you. I didn't say what it was. Well, that's good. That means that we can have Deezus and Mero, uh back up here for a little reunion. And you know oh, what so I'm saying? So they sent you a bribe. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> let's see. Let's see where everybody's at. They with bribed it. you. Know what you? I mean? That must have been a good gift. It, it was they, shot, they shouted you out on the first episode of their new Showtime show too, <laughs> and it wasn't even in a disrespectful way. Yeah, but again, then again, thanks again, guys, for the gift. Now we got rumors on the way? Uh, yes. Imagine you're doing your podcast and somebody runs up in there with a gun. Well, this just happened in real life. We'll tell you who it is and what went down. All right. We'll get into that next. Keep it locked. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning.